Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. Welcome to a place called Nudigate, just south of Dorking. Now I come out today to do a bit of an experiment of a session. Matt suggested I do five by five minutes at a controlled half marathon effort with one minute rest. But I've got a track race coming up next Wednesday. So I thought, having just got these Adidas Adios 8 shoes here, then I thought I would try and use these rather than a super shoe like the Vaporfly or the Adios Pro 3, because thinking they're a bit lower stack and it might get me a bit used to using dragonflies on the track race next Wednesday. And also want to give these Adios 8s another bit of a go. If you've seen recent videos, I've been getting on quite well with them. You know, the speed session of 400 meter reps did well against the Takumi Sen 9, at least as good as them for sure. So I've also done a half marathon training run, but this is going to be just a bit faster. I'm probably looking for about sort of 6.30, 6.40 pace, but I'm feeling a bit tired because Matt sort of put me through the paces doing three sessions this week. So we're going to start off with 15 minute warm up, but then the five by five minutes. And I've identified about a 10 mile circuit. Not sure I'm going to do all of the circuit, but I'll see how, as many as I can do. And we'll talk on the way. I've noticed, I don't know if anyone else has the same problem, that my left foot is really puffed up around the ankles. I think because it's so hot, sometimes this happens. So normally I'm quite a narrow footed person, but you can see here that I've actually suddenly gained a bit of a width as it were on the left. And then the right one is fine. So. I've had a bit of soreness on the Achilles, so maybe that's to do with that. But these Adios 8s certainly uh, are fitting me well. I've got a nice thumb width there. And interestingly, when I looked at the, uh, compared these to the Boston, they actually are the same sort of outsole width and the insoles seem to be very similar. So I've actually got quite a lot of room down the side there, but it doesn't feel like it's as much width as I got in the Boston 12s. I think also because the Adios 8s are a lot more minimalist shoe, a lot lighter, a lot less stack, that they don't feel so sort of clumpy on foot. Boston 12, a bit disappointing actually. I don't know if you've seen any reviews on that. I was getting quite excited by the fact they've lost weight and got a bit softer, but that still means that they're like 340 grams for me compared to say sort of 280 and an endorphin speed. So yeah, there's still a huge difference. And yeah, I just sort of feel like they're a bit something and nothing, but one of my viewers has also said, well, having bought them, you may as well keep on going with them. So I kind of feel the same, but definitely not a day for them tonight. So quite a nice little place, Newdigate. We've got a church behind us here with a war memorial for the running brooms. I'm sure they've been to that. Got a pub behind us. Doesn't look to be overly active though at the moment, does it? So I'm uh, not sure I'll be able to get an orange and lemonade afterwards. Might have to just push on home. But um, yeah, so um, we're gonna crack on. I think I have to tie my shoelaces up a bit. I'm a bit worried that I'll suddenly lose all this fluid in the ankle and so they'll suddenly feel really wide. Okay, so we're out in the run. Just doing the warm up, doing a nice pootling pace for the first 15 minutes. So I'm taking in a few streets. I noticed this is actually a bit of a gravel path here. So I did think that the ideal states would be good on such a surface. and. Yeah, just uh, plodding along, they feel all right. I'm kind of a bit weary though, so in one of those sessions, I think, once the actual effort starts, then hopefully you perk up. Okay, we're nearly ready to go. I'm on a road called Rusper Road, ending to Rusper. I think this bit is all uphill, so I need to make a bit of an allowance for that. Another very warm evening. It's about nine o'clock-ish, coming like that, coming on sunset so all right we're off on our first one so we'll chat at the end okay first five minutes done Matt said to walk and I will be that was basically all uphill so didn't really pay any attention to the pace really I knew that was going to be slow heart rate currently is oh we're on the wrong screen here 114 so it's coming down nicely at least hopefully now I've got a bit of flat bit well it does seem to be mainly uphill doesn't it Shoes feel okay. You sort of notice that they aren't the super shoe squishy stuff. Uh, a bit more ground connection, but they do feel quite soft actually. This Light Strike Pro stuff, because they're towing off, feels quite nice. Right, on to the second one, so I'll pull back later. Okay, two down. This is starting to feel quite tiring. And the mainly uphill bit. I think I finally found a flat bit. I think I need to do a U turn when I get to Rushborough in a minute. But yeah, that was all right. Just as Matt said, just trying to control these. Not really looking at the pace, knowing that I'm working quite hard here. So yeah, I think up here is obviously the 30 mile limit for rush per so definitely uh, one of my famous U-turns coming up shortly. We actually now ex exited Mole Valley. We're in, I think we're in now Horsham. So very near to the airport. Right, I need to get going actually. God, 
Leaves a minute rest though. Hurry, take you longer. Okay, a bit now turning back, so we're halfway through the session basically. Right, see the end of this one. Okay, three down. I could have picked a flat course here. I felt like it was more uphill than downhill as well. Anyway, sometimes it doesn't really matter. Shoes are okay. A bit more spongy than cushion than I thought, actually. I did to tie the shoelaces up a bit more when before setting off, which sometimes I find helps because it keeps my foot locked down and then just sort of the foot just hitting the middle as it were as opposed to rolling everywhere. Right, got to get going again, I think. Okay, four down. Excuse me, snot. I don't really have hay fever, but I do seem to be sweating a bit. But yeah, this is like tough work. Just the fatigue and the hot warm weather. We've only got another five minutes to go. According to the watch, I've got five hours left in the course, so I think I might cut us, take a slight shortcut because I've only got one more rep and then basically it's warm down. So four and a bit miles of warm down seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? All right, another 10 seconds. Looks like we've got a, a downhill bit, so that might... Uh, Brighten the mood a bit. Ivy House Farm Yard. Right, we're off. See you later. Okay, fifth one done. I'm just checking where I am on my phone. I've got memory map, the red circle there. There's Newdigate Road Park by that church there. And I might be able to cut through this Cudworth place. It looks like a bridal way. So I'm hoping that will be okay. So fifth one done. That was about 6.20 pace, although it's slightly downhill. Yeah, it's a good session. I think it's not the session I thought it was. I thought it'd be flat around here than it actually turned out to be. So the first three felt like I was going all uphill. Fourth one was a bit up and down, and then the fifth one felt like it was downhill, but my other legs are gone by then. But that's all part of the parcel for a long distance running, isn't it? I mean, naturally being a sort of a short distance racer, a lot of it I think is sort of concentration. When I did the Dorking 10 the other day, even though I sort of done a marathon a few months ago, I found the 10 miles a long way to concentrate and start feeling how I was, how everyone else was, if people started pulling away from you, if you started pulling them back, are you then thinking you're going too hard, all this sort of thoughts. I've got another 13 minutes of cool down and I haven't actually run for the last two minutes so I better do that. A nice good hour anyway and so nice in these mid-June days to get out because I think whatever time of year it is I seem to run at dusk. It's one of my sort of thoughts but uh, at least other than that car there it's nice and quiet and these lanes are pretty quiet anyway. What have we got here? Stable cottage, coach house. Right. On we go then. Ah, Burnt Oak Lane. Seems it's more of a private road. So it's actually, although it's a public bridleway, it's actually a tarmac road. It's probably why City Strides want me to run up it. Which conveniently goes straight back more or less to my park. So I'll forgo the extra loop in the village, I think. Because uh, I'm quite weary now. Probably about a mile and a half to go. Oh, it's nice down here, I can see where it's private. Shoes aren't too bad for pulling long pace. Although the trouble is, I actually feel like I'm going faster than I thought I am. About 7.30 pace at the moment. But it was slightly downhill. All right, we're still heading somewhere over that direction, I think. Oh, we have no car onto a gravel bit. It's rather a nice house here, you probably can't see through the trees. But uh, yeah, so, and your sake, good for this sort of, uh, Gravel, it's a bit dark under the tree, so I need to watch my footing. This is a little gravel come tarmac path here. I just want to say, I think it's quite warm tonight. I don't normally take any fluid with me because I'm only going for about an hour and a bit. And I do feel an over reliance on drinking on what are fairly short runs, the general scheme of things. It means I'm a bit more adapted to the longer runs, the marathons and stuff, and you actually need it. So sometimes I see people going out with holding a water to run with the block and I think well you've got to do what you're comfortable with but a water is heavy to carry and uh, kind of defeats the enjoyment of the run for me I think I need to get one of those one of those backpacks but equally then I might have to consider myself a trail ultra runner and uh, yeah Ben Lutley not so good for goal pace really Trail ultras, because you're going up and down, stopping for cakes and all sorts of stuff, aren't you? But yeah, maybe I'll do one one day. Okay, I should check my bearings though momentarily. 
I think I was going to do a bit extra up there, but if I go that tonight, because I'm feeling pretty knackered, and despite the fact I'm saying I don't carry water with me, I actually feel quite thirsty, so <laughs> needs must. Okay, here we are on the end of the circuit. So, how far have I done in the end? 8.7 miles, that's not too bad, isn't it? Just got a car there. Oh, a nice little light on the church actually this time of day. Let's see if I can get a drink. I was a bit nervous going to these pubs. You know, the only one in there. You walk in in running gear, asking for an orange and lemonade, and there's hardcore drinkers in there. Orange and lemonade, please. Orange and lemonade. Yeah, I've got a pint, thanks. I managed to get my drink and just come over to the War Memorial to have a bit of a brief and it's got a convenient spotlight here and a bit of a nice little perch for my GoPro. So I think that sort of run proves the point I was trying to make. Eight and a half miles, about one hour six, and the interval average pace was 6.44. So it's actually felt better than I thought it was actually, because it felt like it was going quite slowly. I mean, the first interval when I looked was actually 20 meters uphill and no descent. And that was about 7.10 pace. So I think the last one, which was slightly downhill, was about 6.30. So it served the purpose. I think 6.44 in those conditions certainly is half marathon effort. Maybe even a bit more actually. It felt like about the effort in the 10 mile race the other day in this sort of area. I think it also goes to show in this day and age that you don't need to wear carbon plated super shoes for every run. I think there's a bit of an over reliance on them and I think I have to remember that I'm wearing this Adios 8 which is a far better version of the Adios in terms of like cushioning than the Adios 1 that I did a full marathon in and indeed all my sort of faster sessions and races at the time so it's kind of nice in a way to actually go back to a shoe and think well actually I can run in a shoe that hasn't got like 40 mils of stack and this one's got like 28 in the back and 20 in the front yeah towards the end I was starting to sort of feel the ground a bit but yeah after eight and a half half miles it's perhaps not unexpected is it so yeah mission accomplished got my legs sort of slightly used to how they might feel in the 5k track race next Wednesday and another hard session done Matt's working me quite hard this week I think I've got another session on Saturday and then a long run Sunday and hopefully a bit of a taper for Wednesday I'm meant to be doing a Vets League on Monday, well there is a Vets League on Monday, I think I might have to forego it because I can't really do a 5k on Monday and again on Wednesday, can I? Well you can if you're someone like Ollie Garrod or something who's, you know, <laughs> 20 years younger and uh, uh, sort of a super ultra GB athlete, congratulations for him for being selected today. Anyway, so I hope you found this interesting, like and subscribe on that and see you on the next one then, bye!